Do you need a space mouse, a 3D mouse? How can it improve your workflow? Hey everybody, this is Demeter here from UH Studio Design Academy. I always use the space mouse, but people were commenting on how smooth my movement was. So if you're not familiar with this, this is a space mouse and there are multiple different, let me see what this is, space mouse wireless, and then this is the space mouse pro wireless, and then there's also the space mouse enterprise and a series of different models. Now, what does it do? It basically allows you to move in six degrees of freedom. So we can move up, we can move forwards and backwards, sideways, twist, push, we can rotate. So it allows you to like move in multiple different ways. How does that vary based on the way that we usually manipulate 3D space? So basically we can either pan or we can rotate around or we can zoom, but we cannot pan, rotate and zoom all at the same time. And this is what this thing is incredibly helpful for. Once you use one of them, it's actually hard to go back. I essentially use all of them for different things. One of my favorite features about them is that it actually unifies all the movement in 3D space between all the different apps. So if you're like me and you use multiple apps and each one of them have their own quirks and ways to manipulate in 3D space, this little guy here really helps out with using everything the way that you're meant to use it. So I definitely recommend it. So let's compare the size. So here's the little guy, here's the medium guy, and the large guy is about that size. I actually find the smallest guy the most useful one because it stays the closest to the keyboard. So if you look at my hand here, this is the keyboard. We're doing all this work with the left hand, right? So if I'm on the keyboard and then I wanna switch my hand to the mouse, you see there's a, quite a bit of travel between the keyboard and the mouse. The only difference between the bigger models, it's all the extra shortcut buttons. However, all of them take a long time to set up. What I found is that it doesn't quite have all the shortcut buttons and essentially what they're trying to do is replicate everything that we already have on the keyboard, which is just next door. So the question is, do we even need all those extra buttons? Now this guy makes a lot more sense when you think about it because we're still reliant on the keyboard. There's no new workflows to learn, no new hotkeys, because trust me, you would never have enough keys for all the hotkeys and all the shortcuts that we have in different programs. This thing solves our problem. I'm just on the keyboard, move my hand over, it's there. I don't even need to move my wrist. I just move from one side to the other. So that's the one that I would prefer and that's the one I would suggest you get. Let me know if you find this video useful and let me know if you want to hear more about all the different technology that makes architects and designers lives better. We can compare it with kinds of different mice, all kinds of different tablets and what they're good for. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Please make sure you subscribe. Is this a general one or is this one about Blender? I think this is a general one.